Welcome to the How to Write a Book podcast, the show that helps you plan, write, and publish your book, even if you're a beginner or just feel like one. Now, for your host, she's written over a dozen books and helps others bring their books to life. Here she is, Maciel. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the How to Write a Book podcast. All right, you guys, it is day 15. Oh my gosh, day 15. Um, that means that you are halfway through. You're halfway through the month. You are halfway through NaNoWriMo. And also, um, it's almost Thanksgiving. So now's the time to get yourself ready for that awesome feast. I mean, if you celebrate that. And, and if not, then I hope that it's a wonderful Thursday for you. Um, but that's still a couple of days away. But y'all, so, oh man, halfway through and you might be thinking I'm halfway and I still have halfway to go. Oh, oh yeah. There's like that, that like, I'm tired, you know, like, oh gosh, how can I keep going? And it's really like a lot like running. Y'all, I, I compare writing to like marathons all the time. And I think it's because they're so similar. They really are like running a marathon is it's just as much physical as it is mental. You have to stay in the game, stick to the race. And I think that writing can be really similar to that. So um, it is day 15. And y'all, if you have not uh, jumped into NaNoWriMo, um, then these episodes are still for you because we're tackling writer's blocks. We are tackling those nasty thoughts that enter in our minds and how to kind of defeat them. So today's thought is, I'm halfway through and I realize I still have halfway to go. Wow. Yes. So you might be thinking like, okay, I'm tired. Um, Okay. Will I have enough content for the rest of the month? Like, okay, I see all that I've done, but I don't know if I can keep doing this. I don't know if it's going in the right direction. I don't know if I'm actually just, is this like a bunch of like junk? So again, these thoughts are totally normal. Now, At this point, you might be feeling kind of stuck. The brakes are starting to come on. You're starting to feel really heavy and it's hard for you to face the blank page um, tomorrow or today. And at this point, probably what's going on is that you're kind of drilling down into the details when you aren't completely ready to tackle the details yet. Your story still wants to be told. Now, what does that mean? It means that you might be looking at your work and thinking about, oh, I need to add this description here. I need to make sure I add this scene here. Um, Oh, this, I need to clean up this grammar and this dialogue is just clunky. It's not working. Um, And all of that, those are great tools and things to look for within your manuscripts. But you might not be ready for that at this moment. And it might be feeling overwhelming because you know that you still have another half of a novel to do. And as you're looking at these maybe typos and errors and things you want to fix. Internally, you're kind of keeping a tally in your mind. It's going like ding, 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 ding. And the more that you're reading, the more that you're looking at everything that where it's like messed up, it's like mm, like a fire alarm is going, you know, like this radar that is starting to get higher and higher the more that you look at it. And that can build pressure, uh, that can make you feel like as if suddenly the rest of your novel is going to be riddled with mistakes and you know that internal alarm is just going off the charts. And when that happens, it can feel like you're bogging down. It can feel like you're ready to stop. So what I'm going to suggest for you to do is to take a small break. Now, Um, You don't have to walk away from your novel entirely or put it away, but go do something creative. And that can be a couple of things. You might need to have your brain relax a little bit, which might be maybe some um, Netflix episodes, maybe a couple of funny YouTube videos, um, or maybe you really need to go for a walk or do some drawing and painting. Um, I'll do some sewing and knitting. So just kind of giving yourself a break and put out your timer on, say, I'm going to do this for an hour or two hours today. um, And then I'm just going to let myself breathe. And then when you go back to the page, don't look at the small details just yet. Instead, ask yourself what would happen next and focus on the big picture because the point is to finish your story. Now, whether it's going to sound beautiful, the prose is going to be shining, um, that you will fix later. But for now, ask yourself, what will I write next? Where will the story go next? And jump to the next exciting event for you. Um, It should be exciting because if it's not exciting for you, it's not exciting for the reader. So whatever burning scene you've been wanting to write, write that next. You know, it's totally okay. And especially if you're like an INFP writer, such as myself, which is um, a Myers-Briggs personality, then 
you will find that writing linearly does not work for us. We like to write out of order and that's totally okay because you can stitch it up later. Um, so you all jump into the next burning scene that you can't wait to write. And you're going to find that's going to help ignite you um, and start you again to the second half of this month. All right, y'all. So for more information on NaNoWriMo, go to www.nanowrimo.org. And if you need writing help, get your three free writer's toolkits at blackheartstudios.com and click on resources for writers. But if you can't find that, do email me at maciel at blackheartstudios.com and I will send you that link. Y'all, thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey there, writer. Thank you for listening to the How to Write a Book podcast with your host, Maciel Valenzuela. If you like the show, we'd be happy if you left a review. For more information on writing and the writer's life, go to www.themaciel.com. That's www.themaciel.com. We'll see you on the other side.